Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising. Our weekly tarot reading May 6th to uh, May 12th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, just to shuffle the cards. And we can go straight away uh, to the uh, spread. Just one second, one card fell down. Okay. All right. So the first card, which marks the topic for Virgo's week, that is going to be the Four of Cups, followed by the second card, which is the Challenge, that is going to be the Death card, followed by the third card, which is what helps you throughout the week, what is going to be the positive force in there, that will be the Queen of Wands, and the last one, we do have the Guidance from Tarot, this is going to be the Emperor card. So once again, <clears throat> Four of Cups, it is the first one, followed by uh, the Death card, that is the second, the challenge itself. Afterwards, we do have uh, the uh, Queen of Wands, and uh, the last one is going to be the uh, Emperor. So, very trivial situation is what you're going to face throughout the week. Virgos, uh, it, it, it kind of like unfolds that way. Uh, it's going to manifest itself in the most stable field in your life, in your marriage, for example, into your career, the, the field where you are feeling most stable. What? And it's going to manifest itself as things are going to start changing. And that is exactly what is going to be the challenge for you. But let's go. Let, we're going to talk about this in a minute. So let's go first with the uh, first card, which is the general topic. We do have the Four of Cups. And Four of Cups is generally the card of boredom and a card of being standstill. You know, the card of one not willing to move on forward. Uh, that is kind of like uh, also a uh it in true with the four of pentacles as well but the the difference in between is that one is emotional the other is material so the four of cups is emotional so you're gonna feel yourself rather in a good place emotionally with a person that you may not love you know but in the same time you're feeling emotionally secure in a job that you may not necessarily uh, be exhilarated about but in the same time doesn't have much stress in it you know and you have your salary uh, on the exact date and so on and so forth so the four of cups points that you are going to sit in a place throughout the week where you're going to consume the fruits of your labor or the last fruits of your labor but the four of cups as well is a card pointing that something has to improve all right and one needs to have that strong awareness uh, what i mean is that one needs to have that acute sense and uh, mental strength to grasp on um opportunities because with the four of cups a new opportunity is going to be presented to you here as the cup comes from the clouds you know uh, but you may not be willing to look at it it is because you're going to feel yourself comfortable with what you already have and that is the wrong approach toward the week. I mean, even if that's going to disturb your emotional security throughout the week, you got to take it, all right? I mean, because it's going to present you with a first a new way of doing things and it's going to offer you an, an improvement as well. Just let me, uh, guys, uh, turn off the um, 
sound of my computer. So the accompanied card here that is going to be the um, the world card foundation uh, the combo excuse me it is a, a passive supporters and we're definitely talking about closing a, a door here i mean you have reached the maximum potential of one stage not of one thing but of one stage you have reached the maximum potential for example of the stage of your career where you're finding yourself right now you have reached the maximum potential of the stage of your relationship and that stage needs to be closed for good and what you need to seek from now on is in improving into the next stage right into the next level very similar to the leo but there we do had the we had a different circumstances of what this should be done how this should be done for you it is just it requires your awareness that things cannot go like this forever and if you want a greater height or a better things you need to disrupt your emotional state with grasping on the new opportunity that it is coming around and that will be the change so the second card here it is the death card and the death card represents a change but there are many cards in tarot that represent change doesn't it i mean the death card then you have the judgment card then you have the tower card and uh, these are the three that i can uh think of straight away the um the hangman as well, the wheel of fortune, and if we go forward, I could name you a, a at least 10 cards. All the aces as they represent new beginnings, all the tens that they represent endings, and so on and so forth. But every change that it is described by tarot cards have a different circumstances. The change with the death card, it is a substitution, a replacement. So you have to replace one thing with another. And that another thing, it is an upgrade, all right? So death comes around, takes away what no longer uh, can be improved so you can substitute it for something from the same caliber which can be improved. For example, the tower card is something different. The tower card destroys what you're working over right now, so you can rebuild the same thing, but this time more broader, all right? But here we are substituting one thing for another. Just like with the death card, one emperor is substituted with another, but the empire doesn't die. So your relationship is not gonna die, your career part is not gonna die, but they are gonna undergo a, a change that will substitute one project for another, is going to substitute one enterprise for another, for example, into your, into your relationship and so on and so forth. Now, this, um, this change itself is going to be a, a challenge for you, but you should not uh, resist it. Yes, with the death card, it is very possible for you to borrow its time, all right? Resist the change and resist it and resist it and kind of like try to avoid it, but inevitably, inevitably it's going to happen. And the more you resist it, the more painful the substitution is going to be. If you give yourself away completely straight from the start, it's going to go as painless as possible with no pain whatsoever. I mean, emotional pain in your case the accompanied card here that is going to be the knight of wands so the combo it is a and a passive enemies and it does represent what i said here trying to find a way how to borrow its time and that is the worst thing that you can do because with the knight of wands uh, the knight represents a short-term solutions in that specific case short-term solutions that are going to lead even to more baffling situations and more problematic situations so yeah this week virgos you will have to how can i place it guys uh, you will have that opportunity to uh, improve your standpoint either regarding career or relationship. It's going to come a little bit awkward to you in the sense of that maybe not what you have wanted because you are feeling comfortable, you don't want to move and uh, or to progress because you know you are in a good place. Why one should jeopardize their good place right now to basically you know for an unforeseeable future but it's something you gotta do so you can bear even a greater fruits from your labor or have even greater benefits emotionally or materially so we go to the um next card which is the queen of wands so that is what helps you all right that that is the positive force in your week and this is a, a person 
Queen of Wands it's, it has that acute sense of the business nature and as well of the human nature either. So this person is going to encourage you to take the risk. It is not really a risk, it's just how you're going to see it, all right? <clears throat> So the Queen of Wands here is going to point you the benefits out of stepping outside of your emotionally comfortable zone, you know, and risking that for the new enterprise that come around, for the substitution that that presents you. Because um, how can I place it? Well, it does have a, a very short manifestation in you, the Queen of Wands, but it's basically is going to be an, an example for you because this woman here, most likely, uh, most likely a woman risked the, sa the the similar situation back in the days and she prevailed. So she will give you that example that one should seek a constant improvement into their life instead of sitting into one place because one can find themselves either a king or a queen moving on forward into the future. The accompanied card of the queen, this is going to be the seven of uh, wands. So that is a, a very beneficial, guys. It, it is a an active supporters that we do have here. And the queen itself is going to reveal you the best possible moment and the best possible way how you can take that substitution, that replacement, that change that comes around in which... <clears throat> you will not going to be disrupted from the exterior circumstances, nor you're, you are going to be tempted in worthy as well. So it, it does point that this, uh, this woman is going to reveal you basically the recipe of success in regards to your situation. Most likely, like I said, it is because she under uh, undergo the same kind of a situation as you are uh, in the past. And now let me give you a few examples here how this could play out. You know, like I said, you could be in a relationship with someone romantic relationship that is uh, and in a very early stage you are dating you know you are having a, a good time together you know the sex is good and so on and so forth but you are living in a separate places and so the time comes where this is no longer enough for for him for example or for you or for she and they approach you with a proposition to start living together. And while you're feeling very comfortable right now, you know, having a time for yourself uh, and in the same time having a time for them as well and so on and so forth. Now the time has come where you will have to abandon that emotional stability and start move a living together where you may not know how your emotional stability is going to be. And in the same time, this is a substitution, you know, one thing for another, but it is the same relationship and this you may consult yourself with this woman where she points you big points you the benefits of doing so that is just an, an example and finally what we have here it is the guidance that um, <clears throat> Taro has for you we have the Emperor so no matter what you are to decide throughout the week all right, should you try to borrow the, ch the time of the change or should you give yourself to it completely? That is up to your business, not mine. But the emperor points that you need to become completely aware what are to be the circumstances of your decision. Like I said, should you take the change or not throughout this week? You, uh, With that, you are to present yourself very reliable to those which are around you and to the situation itself. And... Uh, with this approach, you will also exert a, a severe amount of structure, which even if you borrow its time to the change, you will be able to face the downs that this change is going to strike you forward into the future. Because as I said, the more you borrow its time, the more um, disadvantages this change will present you back in the day, uh, forward in the days. <clears throat> So you will be able to face them with much more uh, ease, if I may express it that way. But everything starts from that you need to uh, recognize the not the circumstances, the consequences of your actions throughout the week. The accompanied card, this is going to be the uh, High Priestess, the formation here, it is a uh, active enemies. And the only thing I can say with these cards is that you know what you gotta do, guys. Basically, you you know it down deep down within yourself. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise. Do not let the um, what you see around you to tell you otherwise. Just uh, it's time to act. It is time to do something about it. It is time to improve. So I hope that you Virgos are um, determined enough, you know, to seek for greater emotional um, emotional heights through substituting one thing 
for another. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading, May 6th to May 12th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.